Luke, what are you doing here? Sorry, Chris. There's no time for explanations. We have to get going. They're coming for us, Chris. Do you think you can help us? Who's coming for you? <sighs> huh? Come on. We have to get everything ready. They're coming. They're coming. Huh? Wait a minute, guys. Who's coming? And then I woke up, right before I finally got a chance to see who was behind the door. Hmm, it's obvious that Bob and Luke's disappearance is really starting to affect our psyches. Now we're starting to dream about them. Speaking of that, Hector, do you remember that daydream Chris and I told you about? The one with Bob and Luke? The <sighs> one where you were in the museum and the Rivera brothers were giving you a pep talk? Exactly. You said something similar happened to Bob and Luke not too long ago, but you never elaborated on it. Maybe if you told us what really happened to them, it could help us solve this crazy mystery once and for all, Hector. Huh? Bob and Luke did say something about seeing a beach. A stampede of charging horses came to greet them. I thought they were making it up. It seemed too fantastic a dream to have any basis of reality. They never said where the beach was or why they thought their X-Tabs transported them there. Hmm, a beach with some horses. I wonder what place they were talking about. So do you think Bob and Luke have transported back to this mysterious beach, huh? Maybe they did. Anything's possible. I know this is gonna sound crazy to you, Hector, but I just can't shake the feeling that Bob and Luke left their rooms clean as a whistle to send a message. A message? Yeah. Something that only those who knew them really well and knew the trouble they were in could ever figure out. And the bracelet of the snake biting its own tail? That was conspicuously left in their room. What could it mean? Yeah, good question. I recommend, dear Margo, that you continue your attacks on Drakers. Don't worry, Mr. Gotan. I've already prepared a piece wherein I accuse Chris Bravo of deliberately causing the accident that knocked Lolly Suri's car off the track. Excellent. We have the Drakers right where we want them. I have to go, Margo. I have several appointments today, including an overdue courtesy call. Ta-ta. You've got to believe me, Sandra. I didn't mean to knock her off the track. It was my brakes. They just weren't working the way they're supposed to. I know you're competitive, Chris, but I also know that you would never resort to cheating in order to win the race. Now about those troublesome brakes. John, what'd you find? We huh? took apart the brake assembly and studied it. We've come to the inescapable conclusion that it might not have been mechanical failure. Uncle, are you saying that his car was sabotaged? I'm afraid it's still too early to say, Fabri. But if the brakes had been tampered with, whoever did it was very skilled and wanted to make it look like an unavoidable accident. It had to be someone who knew their way around cars like the Hello to pull something like this off. I bet it happens to tie in with Bob and Luke. So many strange things have happened. And they all mysteriously seem to happen to Drakers. Too many strange things. We'll further investigate this matter, but you can't let it distract you. Chris, Fabri, I need you to stay focused. Get ready. I want you back at the track as soon as possible so we can prepare for the second round of the Super Trophy of Japan. Wow! You're doing great, Avanti. What a champ! Is there nothing that can slow you down? I'm built to withstand almost anything, so that would be a no. Sandra, what can you tell us about the layout of track two in the Circuit of Fire? 
In the beginning, the track was used primarily for test drives. Evidently, it has a lot of sharp curves. It's shaped like the number eight and has a tunnel built into the center. Ah, that's the so-called tunnel of fire, right? That's right, and it more than lives up to its name. <laughs> Chris, do you still plan on driving Moran in this race? Absolutely, yeah. I don't think I'll have any trouble handling a challenging track like that, even at top speed. Just look at him. He'll tear up the track so quickly, there won't be anything left. Well, let's show Fabri the Pegasus strategy. He needs to be prepared for anything. I know of someone who'd like to meet you. Huh? Oh, yeah? I hope you're in the mood to talk to a living legend. Huh? Chris, Fabri, I'd like to introduce you both to the infamous Larry Gautan. Wow, he's the former number one driver. He set the speed record at the Circuit of the Sun in Brazil, and it's never been broken. A pleasure to finally meet you both in person. I'd say practice is going great today. Ah. Excellent work, Kabir. Good job, Kabir. I'd say you've got what it takes to win against the Drakers. While our rankings at this point are less than impressive, Kabir, I don't want you to be distracted by grudges. Okay, but what they did to my sister and the Tigers was completely underhanded, and I'm not willing to just forget it. You were right all along, Lolly. Chris Bravo doesn't even know the meaning of the word fairness. Huh? <sighs> I wanted to meet you. I've been following your progress from the very beginning. Very closely. Mr. Gotan, in addition to being a legend behind the steering wheel, of course, is a key figure behind the scenes at Formula Kids. <laughs> the technicians at his company, Alchemist Incorporated, are the only ones capable of completing the delicate task of synthesizing and then implementing x raw formula into our cars. It's used as both fuel for the various engines our team use and also as an ingredient in the creation of something you boys are familiar with, X-Cards. It's also used to power X-Tabs, right? Right. And I'm proud to see that the two best drivers for the Drakers team have benefited from our invention. Actually, Drakers had two better drivers that were here before the two of us. Of course, the Rivera brothers. Has there been any news about the two boys' mysterious disappearance, Hector? Unfortunately, no. What a shame, then. I'm sure they'll turn up. Little problems such as these have a strange way of working themselves out. Good morning, Mr. Gotan. Hector, we got the signal. It looks like another x raw expedition is about to begin. Ah. Well, my little friends, parting is such sweet sorrow. Good luck with your x raw hunt, and may the best team... Oh, oh. The Circuit of Fire is behind these volcanoes. Yeah, that's right. Well, what do you suppose happened to the others? Oh. Drakers, how nice to see you again. Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice to see you again. <clears throat> oh. Huh? Gibbon, would you stop repeating everything I say like some kind of big fat parrot? I'm sorry, Tony, but I added the word very in there before the word nice to make it different. Lolly. Before we split up on this x raw hunt, can I have a private word with you? You and I have nothing to talk about. All you're doing is wasting time. Although I'm no longer in the race, it'll be a pleasure to find that fragment of x raw and make new X-Cards before you do.
My X-Tab map is scanning the whole area. But my X-Tab isn't working too well. There seems to be some sort of interference. Chris, my scanner indicates an area that may be active with x raw Huh? Huh. I guess we'll have to cross this stretch of forest until we reach the volcano on the other side. Let's go. I wish my X-Tab was working properly. It's the end of the qualifying round, and Red Fury for the Drakers has made an excellent showing. Drakers is dominant in the Formula Seniors division. Red Fury takes pole position, but will this victory be enough to make everyone forget the controversies that have been plaguing Drakers for days? Back to base. After all, how can we forget the sight of Chris Bravo almost coming to blows with the Surreys? One thing is certain, with the arrival of Chris Bravo, the Drakers have been thrown into chaos, and these two young drivers are a far cry from Bob and Luke Rivera. For the Drakers, this race is shaping up to be a travesty. What nonsense! Let's go back and look at that footage of Chris Bravo with Lolly and Kabir Suri one more time. Stop! Kids, that's enough. Knock it off! You just started a war, Chris Bravo! Powerful footage that I'm sure Chris Bravo and the Drakers wish you hadn't seen. Do you really think we'd see that kind of behavior from true champions like Bob and Luke Rivera? This is Margot Duvall for Racing News TV. You know, I think Margot Duvall has been getting too heavy-handed with her reports on the Drakers lately. Heavy? You're too kind. But it's more like she is... wearing some kind of iron glove. Excuse me. Nina, how are things? Hello, Sandra. Hello, Red. I trust you didn't forget our appointment. I forgot. You wanted some pictures. Well, a promise is a promise. I have an idea. Why don't you pose with him, Sandra? It'd be nice to get a shot of you together. Thank you, but maybe some other time. I think there's something I need to take care of. And as they say, there's no time like the present. Hmm. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry. What kind of game are you playing? Sandra Logan. It's been a long time. I'll repeat the question. What kind of game are you playing? So, can I buy you a cup of coffee? You take it with two teaspoons of sugar, right? Hmm. Come on, relax, dear. Why don't you sit with me? We have a lot to catch up on. Hello, can you tell me where the Drakers are? Yeah, they're right over there in that big gray building. Thank you. Hey, you! You mean me? You shouldn't be here. Where's your pass? My boyfriend's got it. That's him. Hmm? The guy in the red jacket? Huh? Hmm? Hey, now where'd she go? I'm sorry if you misinterpreted my report, Sandra. I'm not inventing anything. I'm only reporting what I'm seeing. I think you only see what you want to see, Margo. What are you implying, Sandra? Ever since we were in school, you've always been a schemer and a manipulator. But now, you've graduated to a liar. So who's pulling your strings? Okay, Sandra, let's put all the cards on the table. You want to know what I think? If you're going to avoid my questions, I'm afraid we're done here. Really? I think we've only just begun. There is something I haven't released to the public yet. The story that your two stars, the Rivera brothers, left Drakers because their captain demanded they cheat to win. Just try to make a slanderous report like that. Just go ahead and try it. Sandra Logan, you always won so easily in life even when we were back in college. Sadly, those days are long since behind you. <laughs> sure, just add the cream. Then you cook it at 380 degrees. No, Mama, if you do that, you're gonna overcook it. According to this, we should be there already. The light is going crazy. I'm sorry, Mama, I'm gonna have to go. No, don't worry. I promise. I'll brush them and floss them every night. Kisses. Goodbye. Are you finished? No. Now I have to update my fan pages on all the social media. Shh. 
Did you hear that? Hear what? Listen, Butterfly, are you sure you can keep an eye on the positions of our opponents and play with your phone at the same time? Just remember, Stan, I was eliminated because you didn't get the X-Raw last time. Hmm? Hmm? Ah, it's you guys again. Chris and Fabri, did you guys find anything? No, but my X-Type keeps indicating that we're getting closer and closer. Yeah, and there's something else that's nearby. Underneath us! I can't believe it! That tiger found its way down here before us! We have to stop it before it leads them to the X-Roll! Listen, Gibbon, you deal with the little kitty cat. You gotta hide it from Lolly and Kabir. What if it scratches me? Whatever it does, it'll be nothing compared to what I'll do to you! This is it. The signal's getting stronger. Where's Viola? Huh? That's strange. She was right behind us. Well, she couldn't have just vanished. Come on, let's go look for her. Viola! Viola, come back! Ah! Huh? I found it! Viola! Viola, where are you, honey? The hunt for the next fragment of x roll ended today with a victory for the Black Ghost team. They'll now get bonus X-Cars that they can use to thwart their opponent during the second round of the Super Trophy of Japan. The race is about to start and we're down by two drivers. Only six of the original eight contestants are here at the track. Lolly Suri of the Tigers and Ed Mitchell of Team Hurricane were eliminated from this round of the Super Trophy of Japan. This still promises to be a great race. You guys mind if I sit here? No, these seats are reserved for drivers. Oh, I'm sorry. Scoot down, mm. Ed. Here, we'll make some room for you, my friend. Whatever. Thanks a lot. The top three winners of the first round of this race, Chris Bravo and Fabri Morelli of the Drakers, along with Tony Parker of Team Black Ghost, are lined up in the first row. The second row is comprised of Kabir Suri of the Tigers, Stan Murphy of Team Hurricane, and Cliff Gibbon of the Black Ghost. Viola, why are you always acting like you're afraid of Cliff? You should thank him. He's the one that found you in the cave, right? Everything is ready. The drivers are about to achieve X-Racer. I normally only care about winning, but this time I'll be happy if I can just knock you out of the race like you did, Lolly. I'm shaking in my boots, little bully. Activate X-Racer. <laughs> we are the Drakers. Contact! Ignition sequence! Contact and setup is complete. Contact and setup is complete. And they're off! The two Traker's cars are in command. Tony Parker of the Black Ghost in his car, Shadow, is in third place and is trying to catch up. Parker's gaining on us. Parker's gonna use an X card before he goes into the tunnel of fire. But we should have enough X cards to stifle his attack. Tony, you have to take the lead so we'll have more leeway, while the others will be forced to slow down near the tunnel of fire. Okay, boss. Tony Parker passes Morelli to take second place behind Chris Bravo. X card defense, X Raw shield. Tony is activating an X Raw shield so he'll be in a better position to handle the tunnel. Chris held the lead for almost two seconds over Tony Parker. Okay, get ready to use an X-Card yourself, Chris. X-Card Defense, execute Jammer Effect! X-Card Defense, X-Raw Shield! No, it happened again! My X-Card didn't activate fast enough! Once again, Tony Parker triggered an X-Card just seconds before you, blocking that card's power. Forget no, it for now. No, it's impossible. How does he do it? We're now just 500 meters from the Tunnel of Fire. Parker hits the accelerator, and he passes the Drakers! Well, so much for your young protégés, Fury. Don't take a victory lap just yet, Schultz. It ain't over by a long shot. 
Parker is headed for the Tunnel of Fire, using great skill to avoid those flames, with some help from his car's defensive shield. Behind him, Chris Bravo is flooring it. My acceleration will peak once I get to the exit. Be careful, Chris. You're forcing too much. You may not be able to control the Moran. Wait a moment. Bravo seems to have lost complete control of the Moran. OK, Fabri, Pegasus strategy now. X-Card defense, sending rescue ray. A spectacular race, Fabri Morelli manages to keep his teammate Chris Bravo in the race thanks to his effective use of an X card. What an amazing display! Hey, thanks so much, buddy. You're welcome. Don't give up, Chris. We can still take on Tony Parker. Yeah, but I just don't know how he knows when I'm going to use an X card. We're now midway through the race. It's an exciting duel between the Corvus, driven by Cliff Gibbon of Team Black Ghost and the Nitro, driven by Kabir Suri of the Tigers. Remember that it's crucial for the drivers to finish in the top four to avoid elimination from the Super Trophy. Parker is slowing down. Get ready to play another X card. Confirmed. Parker's power is wearing off. Attack. Use an X card. X card power. Time for Draker's Turbo One. X card defense. Jammer effect. Yeah! Yeah! Once again, Parker has anticipated his opponent's next move. Thanks to his X-Card in defense mode, he stifled Chris Bravo's X-Card attack. I don't believe it. That lousy punk Tony Parker did it again. Tony Parker plays his last great hand, and it also seems there's no hope at all for Chris Bravo. Hmm. Oh, yes, Fury. Turns out you were right. This isn't over yet. Chris Bravo could still find himself eliminated. We're starting the last lap. Parker from Team Black Ghost is in the BG1 and in command. Chris, you have to maintain at least third place. It's still an open battle between Chris Bravo and Kabir Sori for third place. The Nitro and the Moran are in a fight to the death. You can do it, Kabir, yes! I promised I would avenge my sister and knock you out of the race, Chris Bravo. You haven't had the last word yet, Kabir Sori. Looks like Kabir Suri will get the last word in this race. <sighs> Stubborn to the end, that Chris Bravo. If the Drakers only knew that his X-Tab was under our control huh? and we can anticipate their every move. Why don't you just keep your mouth shut, Eric? You're not even supposed to be in here. Settle down, young. Try to relax. It's not like anybody heard us. Here we go, boss! This round is ours! Tony Parker crosses the finish line first! Second place goes to Fabri Morelli, third to Chris Bravo, fourth place for Kabir Suri! What a race! Parker shows style, grace, and determination. Qualities Bravo is lacking. Ah! Crazy, Fabri. I still don't understand what's happening to my X tab. That's strange. Mine's working just fine. Excuse me. Have you seen a pretty little girl with red hair running around here? Uh, no. Sorry. Hmm. Maybe you should give it to Hector. It might just need normal maintenance. You guys. Huh? Huh? You mean us? Yeah. Come over here. I can tell you about the Rivera brothers. What? Come on. Who are you? That's not really important, but I do have something you'll be interested in. It's a key. What does it mean? Oh, Bob and Luke, they wanted you to have this. <laughs> 